as we get ourselves into game one of what should be a very exciting series between Na'Vi and VP. It's starting to get better. He's gone for the two points into this Essence shift that we don't see too often, but makes sense versus Tidehunter. And he does have a significant amount of line charges that have built up. So, so he is starting to catch back up. Top general. He's gone. This time he's going down. Yeah. Well, there's uh, no chance for him here. Suicide. Oh, Ooh, okay. All right. <laughs> Bottom lane always want to fly. They get the. I'll be where we see the first blood. I mean, if he this if he could, catches the catch PA on the storm, guard. and he's in, and he's got it. The second pounce will connect. Sunstroke coming down, but Nightfall's off to the side. They've got a concoction coming in, but Nightfall he's back underneath the tower. They can't quite finish off the kill, and now VP they've got the chance to turn. Gush in the dashboard takes down the CM. Vtune he's been hexed. They're gonna jump in. They've got the pullback with the vortex. Vtune's got to get out. He'll step out to the side, DM, his man has been burnt, he's got nothing to offer, and now Vtune is going back in. They jump over towards the tide, and Na'Vi will get away. We're, we're getting a kill at the end of it all, sure, sure they lose the CM. You know, the game can quickly get very difficult for, for Na'Vi. Yep. They, they've got to make sure that each of these moves is, is pretty flawless, and that Vtune always comes out on top. He's going to get the jump in. They'll get themselves Kingslayer. DM's going to drop the Ravage. It's out onto Iceberg. They'll take out the Invoker. Now with the Orchid onto Always Want to Fly, they're going to look for more. Vtune, does he want to get back in on this? They've lost two Na'Vi. Vtune's going to try and attempt to keep on fighting. He's looking towards the PA. Nightfall easily able to jump off to the side. Vtune, get active. Iceberg even going to connect. I like this move a lot. Should be able to net them at least one kill. They want the big one, though. They actually want Nightfall. They got the damage. He's got saved by his side. So Nightfall will be able to jump to safety. Iceberg's able to deal with Kingslayer on his own. See if Vichu's able to dive in deep for this. He's looking for the lion. Tornado follow up. Nightfall, he's out of here. He just did. Uh, this should be a, a dead lion, though. Vichu able to finish off save. Himself another stack of the permanent essence shift over towards mid general. Able to find a target in time with a concoction. It could even mean much more than that. Really feels super impactful for this next one. Iceberg for VP. Oh, he Iceberg. steps up and they're there, ready. Immediately making the jump on him. Iceberg. He's going to get taken out. They throw everything out onto to the Invoker, and Iceberg's gone. A big hit around the bounty runes too. They still have this control here. Nobby. They'll swing over to the right side, but look at VP. They know they're swinging. Radiant are scanning. Nightfall gonna find. Always want to fly. Can they go for Vichu? The fight. party is here. Vichu's going for this. He's going for Kingslayer, and he's not going to quite get it. He's now got to back off, jumps down into the river. Dagger to set up on the always want to fly. They jump in, they find the CM. GPK, he is out of mana completely, but the backup's there. As DM comes in with the Ravage to lock down General. As DM wants to go down into the pit. Na'Vi's already out, they're coming in with a long wrap around here. Will VP expect this sort of angle? v he's going to jump in. He's looking for the easy kills first. He commits with the BKB. He jumps in onto Kingslayer. The Witch Doctor down. Over towards the side, GPK. He's committed with the BKB. He's onto Iceberg. DM jumps in with the Anchor Smash. Can they bring down Iceberg in time? Iceberg's still alive. He's off to the side, but they've got detection. They take him out through the Ghost Walk. v turning over towards GPK, but he's back over towards the Tier 2 Tower. Now he's looking for, towards DM. v locking down onto the Tide. As v he'll be able to finish off the Tide. It's a triple kill for him. Mass buybacks coming out from VP, though. They jump in with the Hex with the Dark Pack. It was already off of Vtune. He's well out of it. He's still got pounces to work with. They can't catch him. And they have to, you know, they, they're fortunate to at least get a triple kill. Oh, but they have to run away immediately. Is Vtune now? What he's found he there. He's burning the mana. GPK's only got a little bit left. He's going to have another pounce. If he can find the angle, Vtune. Oh. Does he want to go for it? He Think certainly does. It. He's going to be able to get in. On top of the storm sprint, he's found GPK. As GPK down for 50. Vtune's back out. Nightfall, Kingslayer, and DM. They're on their way over. And now he's into Roche. There is a Ravage up, though. They've got 20 seconds till the storm. They might be able to kill it in time. It dies incredibly quick. Haven't quite committed the Berserk Potion yet. Perhaps saving that for a basic dispel. As we've seen these hexes and stuff be a little problematic for Vtune. And they should be able to get it. 10 seconds. Not dying quick enough. Oh, VP. Can they make the jump in time? Vtune in general, they're getting out of the pit. DM, he's going to jump in, but there's no one to be found inside of the pit. They're already out to the, the edges of it. Ooh, Vtune, Dance. it's an early ult, but it's enough to allow... To get in, take down Kingslayer. GPK with a big sip right in the middle, looking towards General. But the BKB is around. Ravage catches the General Alchemist. He catches Roger's Chen. Now they'll turn their attention towards Vtune as Vtune's he's trying to escape this. GPK is chasing GPK pretty much he's out of mana. mana, though. Nightfall tries to jump over to close the gap. Vtune, he's about to have MKB, so he'll have ways to actually be able to address Nightfall in the fight soon. Radiance middle tower is under attack. DM. DM. 
He was just trying to keep lookout around the pit. Vice okay. having nightfall to jump in on the iceberg. Iceberg, he's gonna get the ghost walk off. But the, the finger, they find him, they he pop the dust, they burst him down. Now nightfall turns over towards always wanna fly. They get general, they've got the hex, they've got the lockdown on a V-tune, they've got the chain control as well as nightfall oh gets the triple kill. Keep V-tune's game clean as possible. Spider legs climbing into the base with the ravage available. Heroes are gonna die real quick. Yeah, he does no, connect on pretty much anybody. The jump in beaches. He's having to put the BKB GPK is in on the back line. Nightfall jumps over the Ravage. Ravage. They're able to get the three of them. General Roger and always want to fly. All caught out there by the jump from DM as the three of them fall. And no buybacks on them. As VP have now easily got the space to take this bottom tier three and almost certainly more. They're not there. This is hard. He can't actually jump into the back lines and kill a hero immediately or anything like that. They're going to try and come out with the smoke. Let's see. See if they can do something whilst the Ravage is down. v -tune, can he find his target? He wants to look for the squishies first, ideally. But, you know, really, they want to get save as well. Already save! He's able to get the jump! He's in with a hex save! Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. There's the tip. He knows. A perfect jump from save, and it is over. They'll call it. As VP will take this game one, Na'Vi, they came in with a strap. It looked good, but it had to be perfect. And pulling off perfection against VP is uh, rather a challenging ordeal. Greedy strat all in on the V-Tune slug. Uh, what do you think of their approach here in uh, what we're seeing from them in game two? Oh, and... Is it going to be any better? Oh, and this is all out of great. Look at General's starting items. That is all I'm gonna say. This is they gotta just be the most aggressive players on the planet. I think if this game slows down at all, they just literally lose this game. They have to play super clean Dota, super aggressive, and let's see. They're starting it out with the smoke. Oh, let's see if they can get GPK. GPK. Oh, he's he's gonna be fine. Oh, they're always oh, gonna fly. Oh, I say he's gonna oh, be fine. Actually, GPK went back in. Whoa, that's what? done though! That's done tree? though! Okay, he does okay. still go down! He is he is looking he is looking to really win today. No mercy. Save. Get trapped in, in the field. I'll tell him that he's still got a stun to go. He's, uh, always he wanna could. fly. Trying to cut it out, saves able to turn. He's turning. Oh, he's gonna he get the, the kill. kill. The All fairy right. fire. Very comfortable. Top three net worth. Pressuring two towers. Monkey King free farming. See how Navi responds. GPK. Running in on always want to fly. I'm nearly finding the kill, actually. Just want to fly, having a step right back. V-Tune. Got the stun into the hex. Alrighty. The Sonic Wave there. does burst down save, and now they can look to try and turn. They try for GPK. Now they look over towards Kingslayer, but time's been bought for DM to come across. As Iceberg, he's on the run. His blink's still on cooldown. Iceberg's going to go down. Another move where I mean, Iceberg, he is getting kills. As General, he just wants to join the fray. He's level five. He's feeling a little bit strong now on this clock, but tower is gone. He's getting into a position around their Monkey King. They're going to get a glimpse. Get the glimpse. All uh, right, they'll catch Kingslayer. It's a big catch. I mean, Stay's going to turn across, get the stun opening onto Iceberg. Iceberg, Iceberg is going to die for that attempt. General comes in with the side of the hook shot, with the battle strikes down from Nightfall. Hey, do you manage to get that supernova off? VPR having to kite it out to the side. As the stun comes out, but safe's already away. The Wukong's command now down. The Sonic Wave will I push bet. back the three of them, pushes Nightfall out of the ult. A DM, he's still good to go. He's chasing down Vichin with the Chakram. DM's going to be able to get the kill. He takes down the Ursa. See what DM and Nightfall can do here. Does Iceberg want to poke any further? He did buy back here, so he's got to be careful. Blink out away from the boundless strike of Nightfall. Scan is successful, Iceberg. Is he going to stick around for these two creeps? Oh no, he's sticking around. He's sticking around for them and that'll cost him. Do it with flair. And that oh. is the blink reveal, General. Did, That's uh, the cancel his TP. I was going to say, he's not going to be able to do anything here against TM. As, uh, okay, he can get out with the hook shot. Always want to fly by his side to give him something to jump to. They're going to chase. They have the other two cores connecting. DP and Monkey King were thinking about starting to jump over. Glimpse is still on cooldown. Woo, he's himself. in. DM, can he get anything else out of this, Roger? He's out of the map. Back over towards mid. Nightfall, he's able to trap feature in the old. 
BKB, BKB and Enrage is still on cooldown. He's got to get out of it. The Static Storm has to be laid down to, to stop Nightfall from chasing. No glimpsing, but he, he's got the Aegis still for 30 seconds. See DM now. Radiant's courier has been killed. At least Another smoke from VP, though. They've got this big timing with double BKBs. They really want to show it. They really want to bring it to Navi. As Iceberg is split away from his team. Oh. They're going to be out of fire. Always want to fly. It's in the best interest to get everyone else out of there. But the boundless strike from Nightfall catches onto generally. Oh. Will manage to hook shot over towards the mid wave. And that, that will keep him alive. So I'm getting able to run while well, I say that. Actually, yeah, Nightfall just able to, to just swing across the map, closing the gap. And uh, despite the, the, the strong attempt with the hook shot to escape, VP are able to run him down and kill him off anyway. They're so quick with the way they're making the moves. You know, they smoke to make one, one swing across the map, a secondary smoke to get onto their high ground. And yeah, Iceberg, he wasn't there. So immediately Navi, they just know they have to bail away. Iceberg at least has farmed his BKB, so he'll have some protection if he's able to get it off before the I'm hit. hex comes out. Save! He's got the hex into the finger. They're giving everything to Vichy and Zersa. Zersa. Oh, he's able to get the BKB and the Enrage off, but only just. The Static Storm's down on a Kingslayer and save as they will get the two supports in return. Oh my goodness, was that close. They nearly lost v tune oh. Navi, setting up to, to make a move here. Tune leading Rinted the way. Lots of BKBs and Kingslayer's in position. Oh. Oh. Oh, hook, hook shot misses. And that'll be the, yeah, the smoke revealed, yeah. And they see V-Tune, they have a ward on the high ground here. DM, he's gonna start on him. Set up with the Yules, he instantly pops the Enrage to, to try and escape. But the Yules will hold him back, he's gotta put the BKB as well to run Static Storm used defensively as they're just having to, to get out of it. Navi. Always wanna fly, he's not making it out. Boundless Strike puts the TP to an end. Uh, uh, very much a, a whiffed attempt there from Na'Vi to get something going. General just not, not able to find the angle. Uh, and, and from that moment on, it was all a little bit over the place from Na'Vi. It feels like it maybe was fortunate that he didn't, though. The Oracle was completely in position. His whole team was at the backup. That could be a really disastrous position for Na'Vi to fight. Around the tree lines there with Monkey King, too. You don't want it to be DM, as he will break that smoke. Oh. Oh. He misses the timber chain. But uh, I don't and think he cares. Him. Yeah, DM's just gonna turn. And he's gonna take out always wanna fly. We'll see over to the side. General Iceberg. Iceberg popping the BKB. He's gonna blow the Sonic Wave onto Kingslayer. The egg? Kingslayer's still alive. Right the egg's just gonna get taken out as it's positioned right by Nightfall. Kingslayer, he's gonna be back up to full HP. They blew the Sonic Wave on him, but they didn't quite kill him as he got the false promise oh. off. The Wukongs is down as General's gone. Vichun. His enraged, kited up by the Yules. He'll try and jump out, but he's down the once. VP, they're going to be able to set up to do it again. As oh. Na'Vi, they cannot get across to help him out. v goes down. Oh, we see that Ursa queues up MKB. He sells Quarterstaff, buys a full Scotty. Now Ursa's going MKB just to deal with an Elven book of a Death Prophet. Damn. He's debating. Oh, <laughs> well, in that situation, you definitely want to be getting a Rapier instead. Whoa, okay. Boundless Strike going to be up. Off the mark, always want to fly. He's out. No, he's not. DM's no, in. He's got the Yules. And they'll get themselves the kill. DM continues his godlike streak over towards the mid iceberg. Ah, he's going to put the BKB, but he can't blink out in time. And That's he has no buyback. He just spent his gold on Shivas. Wait, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All right. Well. That's a Rax. That's at least a Rax. The base of Na'Vi. Sure. Uh, they'll yep. swing straight up towards the top lane. Oh, the glimpse. All they right. Slow down Nightfall a little bit, but... A oh, minor inconvenience. Yep. Slightly annoying. V2, you know what the saddest thing is, Owen, honestly? The fact that they still have the cheese on Na'Vi when they got the Roche earlier. They just haven't even had a chance to use it versus VP. I haven't. VP's just not allowed them any opportunities to fight. Nope. And they're going to get the tower. Oh, yeah. I always forget that you can sell refresher shot. Yeah. yeah there yeah, we go. Well, I don't know why you can. A tip for I your really pubs, ladies they... and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, DM, it's always that annoying item. You know, there's always a support that wants it. <laughs> they, they won't notice if it's gone. Just take, <laughs> run, it, run it to the shop. MKB is done. BP oh. just chasing. And the they're the egg. I've got the hook shot in. But they're hitting the egg down. They're going to be able to take it away. 
Nightfall getting a little low, but he's able to get the Wukong's command off. As General dies inside of the Ultima, Vichu will pop the beak, pop the cheese, but he's going to die as soon as he's eaten it. As they have killed they get knife for the, the Monkey King, but there's four dead. There's soon to be five here, with Iceberg also caught out to the side. He can't get out. Five dead, all without buybacks. It's over. GG is called, and VP, they'll take this game. And with that, the series 2-0 against Na'Vi here today, Fulton. I mean, my goodness, they, 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 look, they look very, very good.